I'm here. Okay. You know what pisses me off? What? Well, a lot of things, but these revival thing, you know, all these these shows getting revival episodes and uh, sometimes even seasons. Yeah. Like Roseanne is coming back. I was not. I never watched an episode of Roseanne before, but uh, Twin Peaks came Twin, back. It came back. Office and, now is getting a revival. Will and Grace came back. Uh, and then announced today was the mad about you. I honestly believe it's because, and I don't think I could get, we could get in trouble for this one, but you know, because we're not talking about any shows specifically that we're working on. <laughs> um, but I honestly believe that they've run out of ideas. I, I kind of, I'm kind of with you on that. I was really excited about the Twin Peaks one. Was it good? Uh, well, this is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing about the Twin Peaks one. I'm kind of mixed about it because I was happy to get some sort of resolution from all that happened all those years ago. Yep. Uh, you know, they left, uh, season two ended with a whole bunch of, you know, uh, open-ended plot lines and, and a bunch of cliffhangers. So the problem was this was so far in tone, in look, in feel and characterization right. from what the original series was that it was hard to really get in there sometimes they would show things on screen that in the end of it had no real link to the storyline it was just sort of this you know these meandering scenes that mm -hmm. led to nowhere and sometimes that would annoy me a little bit right and it didn't have the the whimsical nature of the original that was you know, sort of like whimsy guys Taking the piss on soap operas. <laughs> this one was a lot darker, a lot meaner, and I, I you know, I don't, I thought it was okay. I the parts I enjoyed the most were the parts that took place in Twin Peaks mm -hmm. that involved the older characters. Right. Um, I just wish that there was more of Twin Peaks in a show that is called Twin Peaks. Interesting. So yeah, that's what I thought about that. I haven't seen any of the other revivals though. I may catch the Office revival just because there's a big See, fan I'm, of the Office. I, I... Steve Carell's not coming back. No, there's no way. And I don't think John Krasinski's coming back. No, there's no way. He he's a big time actor now. And, and without him, I don't think Jenna Fisher's coming back. Yeah, well, what they're gonna say? Oh yeah, you know that big you know storyline of them Pam being... and Jim. Yeah, exactly. Uh, well, they got divorced. No, <laughs> Office not gonna do that. I would hate that. If no, that was the way no. that they brought Pam back, I would hate that. Yeah. Uh, I can see Dwight Schrute coming back. He's not really doing much. He, I mean, he did a, a guest appearance on uh, Star Trek Discovery. He was on that for... I think he's directed episodes. some stuff, and he's acted in some small independent stuff. I, I, it would be funny if he came back as the manager. Yeah, he probably... He, that well, apparently, I heard, from what I heard, is that this, if they do it, because it's not even 100% sure, but... That's how all these other shows. Was like, oh, we're not sure you're gonna do it. Yeah, you're gonna do it. Uh, apparently, it, it would it would take like, like the first episode would be them still looking for the new manager. Really? Yeah. It's been like when did the show end? Like a couple of years ago now. It's been at least five years now. Yeah. Y yeah, I don't think so. I'm I'm sorry, but you know by now uh, that company would have folded because they were already throughout yeah throughout the, the years nine seasons to... they were already almost. Out of business, yeah, a couple times. A couple times, they, they, like they Michael I think Scott. They were he was a, he was a great guy, but God, he was not a good manager. Uh, no, I, I don't know. I, I it, you know what? I'll watch it just to sort of see what comes out of it, but I don't think it'll be good. The, it all depends on who's gonna be back. I, I don't think Andy Bernard will be back. No, no. Helms got way too much to do. Yeah. No, yeah. It just the first Oscar, one, was, the guy who played Oscar, he's he's got people on Earth now. The American series was like magic caught, you know, in a what's the what's the saying? Captured in a bowl or in, or in a cup or I, yeah. I don't know. Uh, this this isn't going to be that. I don't think. Maybe Toby will be back. No, God, please no. <laughs> How about Roseanne? You have anything about Roseanne? No, I have nothing about Roseanne. But I. I Today I was looking at some like I was just bored of on YouTube and then it and the reason why I bring this up and why it annoys me because I saw like you know um, 
was it top 10 freaking i don't even know why is it I've, I've never watched top 10 videos before but i was so bored today so it's was, was top 10 um moments from tv shows that we grew up from and there's a whole bunch of there was i think three the office scenes in there and i was like oh shit the office might be coming back it's like oh, really i watch by the way i watch those top 10 shit all the time uh whether it's uh what's culture or or uh, Mojo, uh, watch Mojo, watch Mojo. That's, that's, the, that's the one. I, Nikki Swift, like yeah. I watch that shit. Watch Mojo is the, the one that made the top ten thing. I yeah, think. watch Mojo. I think is the granddaddy of them all. Yeah, but you have stuff like Nikki Swift. Which why is can't Assume Productions be the granddaddy of the top ten lists? Because you know why? Because we don't have a top ten list. Well, and Watch Mojo has been doing this for fucking a hundred years, so. <laughs> That's probably why. <laughs> I propose that we make a top ten list. Uh, Roseanne. Roseanne's another one that's kind of going to annoy me a little bit. And I'm going to tell you why. The last Roseanne episode. Uh, first of all, I heard about it today. I heard about it today. Such a fucking bummer. I heard about that today. That completely undoes The everything. father dies. Right. And yeah. now he's not. And, and I, saw the, I saw this review. Not a review. It was like, it's, it's like what the fuck? He died. But now he's back in the, the, the revival. Right, how do you do that? And and on top of that, also the the daughters, uh, throughout the nine the nine years, the, each daughter has a specific boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, she reveals at the end that the boyfriends were actually switched. Okay. Right. So that that that's the other thing. So uh, Johnny Galecki's character, I forget his Apparently name. He's gonna be in it. Right. Was with Becky. Uh, no, not Becky. Was it Becky? I, I forget now. No, not Becky. It was the other one. Um, Sarah Gilbert's character. They, they were dating in the show, and but really, he was, like, in real life, according to the last episode, he was with Becky. And then the, the other thing was there were two Beckys. There were two actresses who played Becky off and on throughout the nine years. They're both going to be on the show. That's stupid. So, I, I don't know. Look, I, I don't that know how this, stupid. this Roseanne... I never watched anymore. Roseanne, never will watch Roseanne, but that just sounds stupid. But I don't even know how J- Johnny Galecki or... Uh, yeah, what? considering he's on what... Big Bang Theory? I don't like that show either, though. I don't, but... watch, I don't watch it, but I apparently they're, apparently they're doing right. something, right? Like, what, I think season 10 or 11 now? Uh, they're making... Uh, it's, it's the same reason why Three and a Half Men... Was was so popular for so long, consider even though it was a shitty show. I never. What they've that. done with uh, a Big Bang is they tapped into that nerd culture oh, yeah. that's become super big over the last few years. Oh, it's okay to be a nerd, uh, right, right? So you know, oh, everybody wants to be a nerd, and oh, let's make a show about these really smart I don't nerds want to be a nerd. who are like, well, uh, <laughs> let's let's make a show about these really smart nerds who are like socially inept, and that's what the show is about. Is about how how awkward and cringy they are in public. Right. Ha. Ha. I think I probably watched one and a half episodes of Big Bang Theory, and that was because I was on a flight and had nothing yeah. else to fucking watch. I saw one on the flight as well. It was a Valentine's Day episode where where uh, uh, Sheldon is doing some sort of podcast with his girlfriend. Oh yeah. Ha. Uh, ha. I watched another episode. Well, episode and a half. And one of them actually, he was doing that same podcast. It was not a Valentine's Day episode, but if if it was, what was it? It had something to do with flags. I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, that's part of the Valentine's Day episode. No, I, I, apparently that's a running gag. Oh, okay. Well, ha 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 flags. Ha, so funny. Oh. What, what, what's so good about flags? <laughs> like really? But apparently, nerds eat that shit up with a fucking spoon. Hey, listen, I, I'm part of the nerd culture, but. You're a nerd? No, I'm not. Look, I'm part of the. I'm part of the nerd culture. I've been part of the nerd culture for years because I've been. I was into Star Wars before people got you know crazy about Star Wars. Okay, I was into Star Wars uh, when I was a kid, uh, getting my mom to buy me a copy of you know Star Wars on VHS for my birthday, like you know, like twenty five years ago, maybe. You know. Uh, I was a fan of the Lord of the Rings and reading the Lord of the Rings before they made movies on them. So, I, I, I've been in the nerd culture. By and the way, that about stuff talking about years. Lord of the Rings here, Mister Costa. Oh, I know who got who got the rights to the to the Lord of the Rings show. Was it Hulu? I believe so. Or was it Amazon? 
No, it was Amazon. Why? Green Ser- screen, correct us if we're wrong. Se- no, but seriously, why? I don't know. Didn't they just make three movies like within the last 15 years? And didn't one of them win Best Picture at the Oscars? I don't know. Like, why? I don't know, but all I know, we're running out of time here. Okay. Well, anyway. But did your son, your brother-in-law like the Hobbit book? Uh, yeah, he did. I bought my brother-in-law the Hobbit hardcover. Hard copy. As soon as he's, as soon as actually, he, he actually, I pointed it out. Pointed he it Hobbit out to me, yeah. And it's hard copy. You don't really see hardcover books anymore. Uh, and then a uh, 25th anniversary uh, of, copy of, of Silence of uh, the Lamb novel because yeah. there was a novel before the movie, and I know he had that novel once, and I took it. And kept it. <laughs> so I bought him the 25th anniversary. So you placed a book that you took. That I took, yeah, oh, all those years ago. Such a good brother-in-law. Thank you.